experience factor for Uno. Oh, the Pete Tango steps forward. Oh, oh. The choke. he's got the choke. He's done. It's done. It's looking to remain the champion. It is all over. BJ Penn. Trunks for Penn. Camouflage trunks for Hughes. Kick is caught. The Pete Tango rocked him. BJ Penn oh, has done it. It wow. is all over. Wow. BJ Penn knocks Man. out Matt Hughes. Man. Wow. Wow. BJ caught him with the right hand and had him hurt and just swarmed on him. Let's see it again. Look at this counter right, right over the top. Bam. Hughes drops. BJ just tees off of him, and that's a wrap. Landless gets us going. Uno blocks the slam kick. it. There is a definite experience factor for Uno. There's Check this out. I'm gonna let you take this one, Jens. He just starts oh. to open up the shots and he comes in with the kind of power. Uno gets back on a foot. He's out before he hits the floor. And BJ finishes him off so quick. He's, he's got, mounted he's got with his 45 back. seconds he's got left in back. round one. 45 seconds. This is a bad spot for Matt Hughes. Could we have ourselves an upset in the making? This is worst case scenario for Matt Hughes. BJ on top of him, punching him from his back. BJ has got incredible back control. BJ oh, looking the for the choke. He's got the choke. He's down. It's right. over. It's over. We have a new welterweight champion. A new welterweight champion. Let's move it. Let's move it. This BJ's in Matt's guard. We see him pass. Controls Matt's leg with his legs, mounts. Matt rolls, which is the worst thing to do. BJ's got his back. BJ Penn became a black belt in jiu-jitsu faster than any American. It's a mode, but BJ, see, his hands are more closed than he steps forward. Uh -oh. oh, big knee, Shark in knee. trouble. Shark's in trouble. And it is saved by the bell. Wow! Penn says it's over. Shirk says it's not. It is all over! BJ Penn! Left hand, right hand, and there's a big knee. Caught Sean Shirk, and then his BJ swarms on him. Now the horn sounded there. Left hand, right uppercut, left hand. None of those connected flush, but the knee certainly did, and here it comes. Bang! Sean crumples, and BJ just starts dropping blows on him. No, means nothing. Especially now. Oh, he's got out. them out. Penn looking to finish the fight. Florian's in big trouble here. B.J. Penn. Penny's got to explode. He's got to roll out of this. Looking to choke Kenny Florian What, what B.J.'s going to try to do is going to try to control one of his arms with his legs. Notice how he's doing that? Using his left arm, he wants to control Kenny's left arm. Right left back to the right. mount in the elbow. Kenny's got to explode out of this. Just under 90 seconds remains in the fourth round. He used that arm to try to take away the base. Oh, look at the kicks. That's old school Hicks and Gracie style. Oh, he's got oh, the choke. Suck it in. Penn looking to choke out Florian. BJ Penn looking to remain the champion. It is all over. BJ Penn has defeated Teddy Florian. And here you see it. Once Penn has such incredible strength on the ground, his jiu jitsu is so solid and technical. Once he got a hold of Kenny's back, it was just a systematic breakdown of Kenny's defenses until he finally got the arm underneath the neck, sunk in the choke. Oh, oh big 
the big left. Slippery as they are, he's gonna go for the choke. Well, the, you know what, Mike? The slipperiness actually helps chokes. He's got that one arm trapped. Notice that? BJ's really good at that. He traps that left arm. I mean, that's that physical dexterity that he has with his legs. He's got the choke. Here we that's go. It. That's it. That's a wrap. It is all over. BJ Penn is the UFC lightweight champion. Joe is in some big, big trouble. Rock solid mount by BJ. He rolls him over, gets his back, and in this position, the blood actually helps get the choke. It makes it more slippery. It helps that arm sink underneath the neck. And he's got it deep. On the way up, he tried to get in with the white. He did not. And now they are on their feet. Good start here. Very good start. Very good start. James yeah. got to work that jab. Oh, just oh. Oh. And he's down. Oh, and he's down. Oh, and he's down. And he's down. And finish. Dean Thomas. Oh, BJ. My BJ. My goodness. Hey, let's take another look at the finish here. And here comes the knee. Bang. And that's flush. And right here, Dean doesn't know where he is. And he follows up with two, three punches before John McCarthy says, that's it. That's no more. Thing. Oh, my goodness. That's one thing about having those long arms. When you miss, you miss. The TV screen to get up, get up. There's a safe way to get up. And there's a wrong way to get up. He's got to create distance and pop back up to his feet. Or he could land, you know, Penn could hit him with a kick. For a big shot. Penn got the mount. Yes, he does. And now he's going to try to tee off. Bad play. Yeah. Craig is purely defensive here. Penn left, right, left, right. And it's stopped. It's over. BJ Penn gets the referee stoppage. And he has defeated Paul Craig. Here we have BJ passing the knee. He was already halfway through the uh, guard. Got the mount. Realizes his opponent. He has a height advantage. Holds a tight mount, just rains down punches, going for damage. A lot of people might feel that maybe Paul should have extended his hand to block a punch, but in doing so, they've opened himself up for a submission. Not a lot you can do from down there. Well, the fight had gone to a point where Craig could not intelligently defend himself, and he loses for the first time Paul Creighton in his mixed martial arts career. Can he posture up? Can he get out of this? He did it in the first round, Joe. Well, the only way he's going to be able to get out of here is the back door. He's got to try to shake BJ off and shake him forward. But it's, it's just so hard to do. And BJ's going to try to drag him back. I mean, BJ's mount and his back control are just so good. Tons of time remains in the second round. Penn wants that arm. He's flattened him out. He'll be happy to take the net. Good job by Jens Pulver in defending. Oh, BJ trapped his left arm. This could be the and beginning of the end. that's what I'm talking end. about with the dexterity Looking in the with the choke. Oh, that's sunk. That's sunk. It that's is it. all over. Oh, BJ, BJ Penn chokes out Jens Pulver. I talked about this crazy dexterity that he has with his legs. And I've, I've talked to people that have rolled with him, and they say his legs are literally like arms. As soon as he locks that leg over and traps Jen's arm, then he's much, he, he has one less arm to defend the choke. BJ sinks it in. The very disappointed Matt Hughes watches his friend get tapped out. With the same submission, by the way, that he got Matt Hughes in. Great point. BJ Penn. You know, it's like we talked about before, seconds. it's a great move, seconds. but you're trapping that down with position. You've got to go all the way through or, or, or pay the price. The old school move of trying to take a little bit of the gas out of the tank again by covering the mouth and taking away that natural breathing pattern of your opponent. I'm telling you, it works good. It works, especially yeah. when the opponent's there. Oh, he's got the back. Oh, big mistake. He's got to search for the clean. He's working it now, coming from the sides and working it in the final seconds of round number one. Mason White pulls him up, and this one is over. You see Joey trying to do them elevations. He's still trying to lift and turn. Oh, he got the back right there. He made the pass. And he knew what to do when he got on the Absolutely. back there. He started throwing punches in from the side. And that's the key, guys. And once Mason White saw that he had taken enough, no intelligent defense, no way to get out of that, he ended the fight. And he was working against the clock, Jeff was B.J. Penn, but he just continued with the onslaught on Gilbert. And when you have an opponent's back,
your opponent is in serious trouble. And when you cover up this way and offer no other form of defense, the referee will stop it. And again, BJ's just out grappling him as well as out striking him. Uh, he's just pouring blood now, Joe. I mean, he's really toying with him. Yeah. Like, and now he's turning it on. Yeah. Diego's, Diego's a mess. Muddied up. And Herb Dean's going to check the cut. Wow. Baby J. And here we see the end. BJ with a high kick that opened up the cut. Yep, right away. And then just swarmed on him. Joe, let's go all the way back to round one when he really rocked him. Ducked under, right hand. Looked like he might end the fight in round one.